I had been doing back hard for a long, long time. And when I added this exercise to my routine, all of a sudden, I started feeling sore in here. Hey guys, Mark McKillie, Relive Anabolic, and let's talk about building a big back from home. All right, so all I ask you guys to do when you're working out from home is have dumbbells and resistance bands. That's not a lot. All right, you don't even need a bench, all right? I recommend you get a bench because they're pretty inexpensive, but you can you can get by without it. So my Fit After 50 program really requires you to have those two pieces of equipment. Bands, resistance bands are super cheap. You know, $25 for one set, and I actually recommend you guys get two sets. Uh, I've actually I've, I've shot some videos where I show you how you can set up two sets of bands to make certain exercises more effective, but you don't have to. Dumbbells are a little more expensive. Now I have adjustable dumbbells, all right? And those are really expensive, but they're fantastic. And I can go from five pounds all the way up to 50 pounds just by turning the handles, all right? And I can do that in five pound increments. Um, but you guys don't have to go that route. You can just buy three or four pairs of dumbbells, all right? So you, you need some light ones and kind of some, you know, medium weight and then some fairly heavy ones because some of the exercises we're going to do specifically today use a lot of big muscles. They're compound movements. Your body is just naturally strong, which means you need a pretty heavy weight to be able to do the exercise intensely enough that you get something out of it. So guys, most people don't think about their back nearly enough, okay? That's been changing at the gym with a lot of these young kids now. They're actually seeing pictures of themselves, you know, and so they kind of get it. But a big back makes everything else look great. Everything's about proportions, right? And so, you know, I know all of us, me included, really want to have some great abs and a small waist. But that's the hardest thing there is to get. And if you have a big back, it will naturally make your waist look smaller. And that V shape is what people's eyes notice, even if they're not really paying attention, all right? It's just something that's just gonna just naturally catch some, somebody else's eye and it will make you look athletic, okay? So I love doing back. I've always put an emphasis on it. For some reason, I just enjoy it but your back has got 17 different muscle groups. If you ever look at an image, and I'll try to get my editor to put one up here while I'm talking about it, there's tons of these muscles and they're layered and they're going all over the direction, every different direction, all right? So there's a ton of muscles in your back, guys. And because of that, I got four exercises for you today because it takes a lot of different exercises, hitting those muscles from different angles and calling upon different combinations of muscle groups. You know, just one exercise, I ain't gonna do it. So I got four great exercises. We're gonna use bands and dumbbells today. But before I get to those four exercises, just real quick, you need to know about our free Facebook group. Um, it is a wonderful group, thousands of men all over the world, the same age as you and me, all right? There's no young whoopersnappers in there. And, and we don't just talk about working out. There's a lot of discussion about nutrition and injuries. There's a lot of motivational stuff going on. People asking questions, you know, they've fallen off the wagon. What do you do to get motivated again? And I'm in there every day answering questions, but I'm only one person. Hundreds of other guys in the group are answering each other's questions. So it's, it's a great group of guys. Even if you're not a Facebook fan, I'm not either. Doesn't matter. Just join. It's free. Don't waste super effective free resources that we give you. All right, so four exercises today. Three of them are gonna in include bands and, and just one is gonna be dumbbells. Uh, there's, there's more exercises than what I'm gonna show you today in my Fit After 50 program, but I, I, I really do like these four exercises. And I try to keep, keep these things pretty unique. And I like to vary the exercises that I show you guys in a lot of my videos because I hate showing the same things over and over because, you know, if if you're doing the same thing over and over, then you get bored. And if you're bored, you don't put as much effort into it. If you don't put enough effort into it, then you go, you don't get nearly as much out of it. Now, guys, we're going to be doing some bent over rows, all right, with bands 
And that is a strong muscle group. You'll be able to do a fair amount of weight. So you may need to put more than just two, two bands on here. It just, you just need to experiment. But this is the way I want you to do it. Now, because we're gonna be bending over and rowing, okay, there's almost no tension in the bands right here, all right? So I don't really start to feel any tension until I get to here, and that's maximum range right there, right? So this is what I want you to do. You're gonna probably need a lot of band, all right? Or band resistance, maybe a combination, maybe some thicker bands. Step fairly far out, okay? So the bands are pretty short already. And then this is the simple little trick. Don't just start rolling like this. Switch handles, all right? Switch hands with the handles. Now, you're gonna have even more tension and the resistance is gonna be pulling your hands across your body and not just straight up and down. So remember, you're bending down, all right? I'm keeping my back straight. I'm not rounded, all right? I like to look down and forward and then uh, I'm focusing on my elbows, guys. Don't worry about your hands so much. It's try to get those elbows back behind your back, as high up as you can go. And don't come way out here. I want you to come back, all right, towards your waist a little bit. <sighs> Control the resistance of the band all the way down and all the way up. And then guys, if, you, if it's too easy for you, all right, of course on the next set I want you to use more bands or do this, come up, squeeze as high as you can and hold it. Zero, one, two, ah, down. Zero, one, two, down. So exercise number one, bent over rows. If you don't have bands, you can do the same exercise with dumbbells. Okay, exercise number two, I got you down on the ground with some dumbbells. This is called a bear row. So it's very similar to renegade rows. If you all have ever done that, if you haven't, just get on YouTube and, and type it in and you'll see some people doing it. But bear rows are very similar. And it's not just our back that we're working. Just due to the nature of the exercise, it's gonna force you to really engage your core. And so for you guys that are overweight, it's gonna be even harder for you guys because you're having to support your body weight in addition to rowing the dumbbells. All right, so instead of a push-up position where you're you know, in a, in a straight line here where your back is straight and your knees are straight. I want you to get in a, in a bear position. Now you need to have a really wide stance, okay? So, and the reason I want you to have a wide stance is because we're gonna row one dumbbell at a time. Now, when you pull up one dumbbell, you're naturally gonna have to slightly rock over to the other side, okay, for balance, all right? So if I, if I try to keep my balance centered and I pull up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to this side because I'm losing my right hand. It's not, I'm not able to post up any weight, all right? So having a wide base with your feet though will help. So when I do my right hand, I'm gonna slightly rock to the left, bring the dumbbell back to your waist. Then I'm gonna rock to the right side and pull the left dumbbell up to my waist, back to your hip, back to your hip. And then guys, this is gonna get you out of breath, especially if you're trying to talk to a camera. But be sure and pick a weight that you can do good form. I don't want you yanking it. I want you controlling the, the weight of the dumbbell up and down. So pick a weight that you can do for at least eight reps on each side. So, you know, that's 16 reps total. And because you're engaging so many other muscle groups, it's, it's really gonna gas you, all right? So this is a fantastic exercise, not just for your back, but for a lot of other muscle groups at the same time. All right, I got a couple more exercises for you. Both of these include bands, all right? So I'm, I have it set up with a high anchor position here because we're gonna be pulling down, all right, with both of these exercises. Now, remember, it's a lot of different muscles in your back and that means they're really, really strong, especially 
in this lat pull down exercise that I'm going to show you. So I don't have enough resistance on here. This is just for demonstration purposes, but you guys are going to need to load it up. Um, you guys that are lucky enough, instead of anchoring at the top of a door here, if you have a tall door, even better, the higher the anchor is, the better. Um, when I do this in the garage, I actually have some really strong wood screws that I've screwed into a stud in the ceiling. So it's eight feet high. All right. So if, if you have that ability, it, you're going to, you're going to find that this exercise is more effective because you get more stretch on the band. And that's, that's hard to do with this exercise. And because of that, you're probably going to have to load up with three or four, maybe even all five bands. All right. But this is just to show you the form here, guys. So a couple ways now, Remember, the further away from the anchor you go, the more pre-stretch, more pre-tension that you start with. And that's what I want, because if you're too close, I mean, you get no resistance during the first 50% of the, of the range of motion, all right? And because this anchor is just at the top of the door, which it's not very high, I'm gonna sit down on my butt, all right? So this is gonna get me even further away from the anchor as opposed to being on my knees, all right? You can just cross your legs and I've kind of scooching back away from the anchor here. So I already got a pretty good stretch. And if I had three or four, maybe five bands on here, there would be a, a lot of tension right now. All right, so it's just a real straightforward exercise, guys. And because I'm of the type of exercise, I'm pulling this down towards my chest, you better make sure that anchor is good and solid up there, all right? Otherwise, if it yanks out, it's gonna hit you in the face, your chest, and it's gonna hurt, especially because you got so much resistance there. All right, so just like all the other ones, I want you to focus on your elbows. Everything else is gonna come along for the ride. And try to get those things back behind you, your elbows, as far as you can get them back, all right? So don't just kind of come to here and call it good. Really come down low and back and then squeeze. You can, you'll be able to feel your back muscles really squeezing at the bottom of the movement. And if you don't have heavy enough resistance bands to really get you dead tired by about 12 to 14 reps, then I want you to come down and hold it. Zero, one, two, and then up. Zero, one, two, and then up. So, Anytime you don't feel like you have enough resistance, whether it's with dumbbells or resistance bands, to fatigue you by 12 to 14, 15 reps, if you're not getting near failure, that means it's just too light for you. And you need to compensate, make it feel heavier by holding it for a two or three count at the top of the movement, or in this case, it's at the bottom of the movement. All right, so the lat pull downs I just showed you is really good for targeting your lats with this part, okay, of your back. Now, remember, it's not just getting your lats. You're getting your rhomboids and all kinds of other muscles in there because there's just so many of them. But it's, it's not called a lat pull down for nothing, all right? Now, this next exercise is called a straight arm pull down. Very similar movement, all right? But we're, gonna, but we're not gonna be set up the same way. So instead of getting down, okay, on our knees, you can stand up, okay, move away, and I want you to bend over the waist, and I'm kind of looking forward here. Now, there is some tension on these bands, okay? And I just want you to pull the handles down to your thighs, and try to keep your arms pretty stiff. Now, you don't have to lock your elbows out, but I want, I want your arms to be relatively straight, hence the name, straight arm pull down. Sometimes they're called a bent over pull down, Now, this exercise, guys, is going to require less resistance, okay? You're not going to be able to use nearly as many bands on this particular exercise vis-a-vis -vis those lat pull-downs we did just a second ago. All right, and the reason I'm telling you that is I don't want you to be surprised and think you're doing something wrong, all right? Now, this exercise... Yes, we're getting our lats, but we're also getting a lot of muscles kind of up here under our shoulder, okay? Your teres minor and your ter teres major, and there's some other little smaller stabilizer muscles in there. And if you've never done that before, 
you're gonna really feel it. If you push yourself hard, close to failure on each set, the next day or two, you're gonna feel, wow, oh, there's something weird going on there. And it's not the joint, it, it'll be a good soreness because you're, you're hitting a muscle that you really normally just don't ever work, you know, in your just normal roundabout, you know, going around the day type stuff. So these, these straight arm pull downs are a really good extra exercise for your back that you don't see many people doing even at the gym, all right? And when I started doing these a few years ago, I had been doing back hard for a long, long time. And when I added this exercise to my routine, all of a sudden, I started feeling sore in here. And of course, the bigger these muscles get, the wider your back looks. Guess what? It makes your waist look smaller too. All right, guys. Well, that's me. I'm pretty proud of my back, but I've been working on it for a long time. And when I'm getting really serious about building muscle, I'll do 14, 15, 16 sets of back. All right. Just back exercises. So I love it. It looks really impressive. It looks great when your shirt's off and it looks really good even with your shirt on. All right. It just makes everything look bigger and wider. It makes your waist look smaller. It's just wonderful for your, you know, overall proportions. And guys, our back is something that we just don't typically spend nearly enough time on because you can't see it in the mirror. Another thing is you work your back really good. Like I've showed you today, it will also help to prevent injuries. All right. So guys, you can't build a big back overnight, but if you stick with it and never give up on yourself, I promise you can.